Hey, how's it going? It's Pastor Mark. Appreciate you taking a minute today to be in God's Word. We are in a sermon series on Sundays called Death, Then What? And I've got this hypothesis that our society has become more and more uh, distanced and fearful of death. Uh, at least in my 10 years of ministry, I've noticed it. And I think this year, <laughs> 2020, has really brought that to the surface and made it very apparent. And I think it's a great opportunity uh, for the church. It's me and you, uh, because we have a vaccine for this problem. We have a remedy. Um, so my devotion today is just quickly, uh, should we fear death? And the scripture reading, of course, is 1 Thessalonians 4, 13. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. Death is something that both intrigues the world and scares the world. It is something that we are faced with every day, sometimes expectedly, but other times not. It's something that causes philosophers to sit and wonder what really happens when someone dies. Is there a soul? Is there an afterlife? And if so, what is the afterlife like? Some people have set answers as to uh, what happens after death. You know, atheists say that there's just non-existence. The end is the end. This life is all there is. Buddhists, uh, even Hindus, believe that uh, we'll all get another chance, actually many chances, uh, constantly living in the hamster wheel of life until we reach nirvana. And still others aren't so sure. And the very thought of death brings a deep conviction, a fear of the unknown. But for you and me, for Christians, Death is something else altogether. There is a hope, a, a life existing with God. Because as sad as death is for us on earth, and as much as we mourn and miss those who have passed, the truth is, death is only the end of our life on earth. We do not simply cease to exist or end up on the hamster wheel of reincarnation. Get Hebrews 9.27 for that reference. No, we, we move on to live with God in heaven for eternity. 2 Corinthians 5.15, if you want to look that up. We move on to a place where we can truly glorify our Lord. A place that is free from pain and suffering. Think of Revelation 21, verses 3 and 4. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look! God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. As Christians, we should not be ignorant as Paul says, regarding those who have passed away. Instead, we rejoice that they are with the Lord in a place that's more peaceful and joyous than we could ever imagine. And for ourselves, when darkness seems to surround us, we remember that nothing can separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 38, 39. Not, neither death, nor life, nor angels, or nothing can separate us from God's love in Christ Jesus. And that we have absolutely no reason to fear death. 1 John 4, 17. This is how love is made complete among us, so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. Or, as one person once put it, a Christian's life is really nothing more than a bus ticket to heaven. Sure, it may be a bumpy ride now and then, but the destination is worth the price. Let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, the generations rise and fall before you. We thank you for sending your Son into this world to bear our sins, to be our Savior, to rescue us from the devil, from hell, and to give us the sweet gifts of forgiveness and eternal life. The peace that we have, I pray that we would be able to share that peace with our neighbors, especially during this uh, very, very uh, trying and difficult time and season that we're in. Uh, let your church be a witness to your life, love, and our eternal life. These things we ask in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Really, really appreciate you being with us. Uh, we'll see you next time.